My name is uh, Dr. Roberto Posada, and I'm a professor of pediatric infectious diseases at the Mount Sinai Icahn School of Medicine. The studies done by Pfizer, which included more than 4,000 children, uh, showed that those children in the study developed antibodies uh, to the vaccine that were um, essentially the same level of antibodies that result in about 90% uh, or higher protection in adults, meaning that the vaccines are just as effective in children as they are in adults, um, highly effective in protecting from severe COVID-19 disease. The vaccines are extremely safe. Uh, side effects were reported commonly, just like the same way as for adults, but there were minor and self-limited side effects, such as uh, pain at the site of infection, fatigue, and headache. It is very likely that children who receive the vaccine, just like, as, like adults, will experience pain at the site of infection, fatigue, headache, maybe even a fever, uh, those are all self-limited and should go away within a day or so, but um, acetaminophen or ibuprofen can be very helpful in managing the symptoms. Um, and parents really should follow the guidance of their pediatrician as to how to administer those medications to their children. The recommendation is that um, for anyone who already had COVID-19, and they should still get the vaccine. And the reason for that is that um, cases of a second COVID infection can happen uh, uh, when, even after people already had a first infection. Um, and it seems like the vaccine gives a broader protection, a more effective protection against subsequent infections uh, for people that already had COVID before. So vaccinating uh, young children has, first of all, protects the child from getting uh, uh, significantly sick from COVID-19. We know that children are at low risk for developing severe COVID-19 infection, but that doesn't mean they cannot develop severe COVID-19 infection. And in fact, as a pediatric infectious disease specialist, I, haven't seen, I have seen children in the intensive care unit very sick with COVID-19. So uh, first and foremost, the vaccine will protect the child from those serious complications. Additionally, we do know that children, um, even if they don't get very sick themselves from COVID-19, if they have COVID-19, they can pass it on to other uh, people, uh, to their parents, to their grandparents, to other kids at school. So vaccinated children can also protect the community at large, um, including people that are at higher risk uh, from COVID-19 related complications. So even though children don't get as sick from uh, COVID-19 as older adults do, um, they can still get sick on, on, on some occasions. Uh, they can end up in the hospital, they can end up in the intensive care unit, um, and giving this vaccine will protect them from, from those complications. Um, giving the vaccine to the children will also prevent those children from spreading COVID-19 to other people uh, like their parents, like their grandparents, their siblings, uh, other people at school uh, that may be at higher risk from COVID-19 complications. Children really should get vaccinated at the first opportunity that they have to get vaccinated, uh, even if they're 11 and about to turn 12. Um, in the Pfizer studies, uh, children that were age 11 uh, responded uh, very well uh, to, to the pediatric formulation of the vaccine. So uh, children being afraid of in, uh, injections is not an uncommon scenario in pediatrics. And pediatricians have been giving vaccines for uh, decades. Um, Pediatricians um, and nurses working at pediatric offices are very experienced in um, working with children that are afraid of in injections and then can work with you and with your child to make sure that your child can get immunized in a safe manner. It's a very common misconception that the COVID-19 vaccine uh, can affect fertility. Um, there's no evidence at all 
uh, that, that COVID-19 has an effect on fertility. So it's very safe from that perspective as well. Parents that want to get more information about the COVID-19 vaccine for their children should contact their pediatrician uh, for specific advice. 